Hi, Blind Guy Garage. We're on the crane. Y'all are actually sitting on the boom of the crane. It actually has a plate back there and I just kind of put that magnetic universal camera mount thingy that I made on. Um, what we're gonna do is, I do not have anything hooked to the front of this crane. I wanna see what all it can pick up um, without a machine hooked to the other side. So then that way, I think the washer and dryer that I was crashing into with the Great Dane, I'm positive it'll pick that stuff up. I've done that a million times. Um, I think I'm going to go, we're going to pick up some more stuff, but um, in this video, I think I'm just going to try to get that washer and dryer loaded on that load of scrap that was in the other videos. And um, it doesn't look like it's going to be an easy thing to do. So um, I'm going to hop up here and uh, I'm going to try to push the machine, to push the crane over there to um, everything. And we may just see how easy it is to roll with the load on it like that. Because it might actually be easier because right now there's so much counterweight on the small wheel it's difficult to push. So here we go. Roll it. Now it rolls easy. Um, but it don't steer on its own. You gotta steer it. And just I'm fun with it and rolling and stuff, trying to get it to go to the position I need to do. We got a, actually a pretty good distance to roll, them, to roll this thing to get to all that stuff. But looking in the other video, the Great Dane is so loud, you can't really hear anything that I'm doing. Or anything I'm saying, you can, but you got to really try. And um, spinning the wheel around so we can then go towards the stuff that's actually over that away. Still. Maneuvering. I guess I need to do. I don't usually use it like this very often. I guess I need to do some. Modifying on it if I want to keep using it as a standalone machine. Once it's got weight on that boom, though, it'll make the turning a little bit easier to take some of the weight off the back side. Big problem, the challenge to picking this stuff up will be is that it that it uh it's gonna want to fall apart as I'm picking it up. They just don't make this stuff the way they used to. I used to, some of the old ones I can't I can't absolutely just destroy it by throwing it on the ground. See if the agitator can hold the weight of the entire machine. I think I'll choke it. 
think what I just did will work, but I put it deep, too deep. So we're gonna pick it. Come on now. It's working too well. It's working too good, too good. I'm gonna drop the arm down some more. Let's see if y'all are in frame. That's seeing what I'm doing here. Oh. I guess y'all seen most of it. All right. You gotta get this picked up. Cause... Let's see, I don't know if that's gonna work. That plastic may not hold the agitators that squirrely cue looking drill bit looking giant drill bit looking thing. And of course this thing only weighs like 60 pounds. But you imagine trying to pick that stupid thing up by hand. And it's gotta go about five feet in the air for me to get it on top of the trailer. I think y'all are riding along. Yep, y'all riding along pretty well. I'm looking at y'all. I'm gonna have to scream here. Let's see. It kind of needs to turn a little bit, doesn't it? Kind of get to see a little bit of all of it there. All right. And I can't really tell that I'm picking up any weight, so. I doubt it's going to be very easy to roll this thing still. We got to still go up pretty, pretty, pretty high. Let's see, the boom arm is almost seven feet in the air right now. Um, the camera is almost over my head. So, and y'all are on the fulcrum or the pivot point of the arm. So, but the base, all that crap hanging down from that thing is still at about my shoulders right now. And we're we're about at the capacity or the height. And the cylinder acts like it needs a little bit of um, fluid in it here, but <sighs> pull it. Oh yeah, it's a lot easier. It's still easy to roll. But we got to roll this away from the trailer and then around to the other side of the trailer. There's nothing on, nothing on this side anymore. We figured I'd do it. The easy hard way, if it makes sense, it'd be easier probably to hook this to the back of the Great Dane and and then we all just ride on that but then you wouldn't have all this wonderful commentary just a pushing turn because the spot I'm aiming for is right where uh, you might see it in the camera here in a minute there's a swirl fan out there right yonder And that's what we're going to be on. I'm going to put you on a different spot. Come on. Man. 
So you aren't twisting and turning with the boom arm. Sorry, I gotta wave my hand in front of the camera to kind of tell what angle it's sitting at. Whew. I'm getting a little bit old and fat to be doing this. Y'all better appreciate me doing it the hard way just so y'all can see this. Because this is hot on old fat now. Let's see here. Yeah. Um, about there, okay. I'm gonna see, it'll probably fall off and I have to pick it up again and over again and over again. If I gotta do that, I'm gonna be upset. And let me see what it feels like. really nothing there to support the weight of this to hold it up so I'm just gonna lay it on down see what happens yeah it looks about as beautiful as any of my other loads of scrap there's like 10 sequels of faces of death on this thing so. and now me working probably looks like that too I'm getting hot. All right. Now we gotta go back around, which I'm gonna pause it since now y'all have seen and you hear me. I'm sure y'all don't want to hear me breathe heavy and all that. I mean, it's not very entertaining, I imagine. So I'm going to pause it and then we're going to be back over there when you come back. Alright. Now it's hooked to a dryer which is a lot lighter. Which is going to mean it's going to be even harder uh, to roll and steer the thing to where I need to go. And this is another one. It might just fall apart. Didn't have it in, didn't have the pump turned on. And effectively, I didn't have it in gear. Is it, is it not working? What is the deal here? It's picking up. It's just when it's, I guess when it's all the way down, it's super slow. Or my chain come unhooked. Which is very possible. Yeah. That's what happened. And I couldn't see that. Y'all probably saw it. And you're like, dude, you're on here. You're on here. You're on here. Oh, well. Possible to just pick it up a little ways and then drop it. We're gonna see. I'm gonna put some oil in the cylinder, I guess. Getting have about half a pump out of it each time. Here. 
it kind of goes. I wonder if it's going to slip off that hook. this thing will go. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going to put the dryer. It's a very good possibility. I can put it between this push mower and rider that I stuck on here a while back. up the other one faster than this. Well, I guess I could tell you stories or something while I'm doing this. I think the one right quick I'll tell you. Oh, see that thumb? There was one time I was helping a fellow back up to a trailer similar to this one. His first time he'd ever drove my five-speed one time. And uh, somehow or another, I decided to get that thumb between the hitch of the trailer and the hitch of the truck. And uh, it smashed my thumb in there. And as he's getting ready to pull away, because I didn't, I didn't cuss or nothing. I was actually very proud of myself because I didn't cuss. And... Um, so, I uh, screamed at him, you got my thumb. He understood what that meant, and he went to put it in from reverse to first gear. And he let it roll back a little further, which is already smashing my thumb. But I heard the truck starting to try to go into gear, and the trailer starts to creak back, and I look down at my thumb. And the thumbnail went forward. And what little bit I could see was gross enough. I didn't want to look at it no more. But my thumb went to about an eighth of an inch wide. But luckily it got it from this down. So probably splintered that bone up pretty good. It did hurt like the dickens. Um, still didn't cuss though. I was, like I said, super proud of myself. Um... But when he went to change gears, he rolled back a little further. And I hear the trailer go, ee, ee, and all of that happened to my thumb. And he finally pulled away. And, uh, I mean, it was pretty bad. It, it was ugly. Very ugly. Doing the kind of work I do. I'm always getting my fingers smashed. But that was probably the worst I'd ever smashed my finger. And it's usually through the help of other people that gets the best injuries. Because um, other people don't tend to pay attention to where you put your fingers. Just to saying. Big shout out. Big shout out to James for giving me that story. He knows who he is. If he sees this video. If it even gets posted. Because you know. Why it might be. That great thing did a number. On that washer. I got a stand on it. This is not safety. 
conscientious way of working. Oh, and by the way, you can stand on the tire and roll it forward by walking the tire on. And uh, so I got to stand with one foot on the forward side of the tire so that the machine don't roll backwards. I guess it's on set her down here, and I'm holding it with my feet, pushing forward on the tire. Y'all yeah, ever seen the videos where the guys are ru running on the logs in the water? Same sort of concept here. That's up there. <laughs> Don't know how well. I'm going to see if I can just roll it in my feet. Oh, yeah. There you go. I'm not on the ground. Oh, that's just working wonderful. It's a lot easier. Okay. Too bad I don't have, like, brakes on each wheel that I can just... Stop one brake, let it turn. Stop the other brake to stop it, and you know, a brake, right brake, left brake, make it speed. And this is you. guys. I just don't know if it's going to survive the pickup. And then once it's picked up, I don't know if it's going to survive the trip. We're going to creep over there to it. And this one's going to have to be chained up. I know, it's going to be a longer video if, like I said, I get it all in there. Hopefully nothing happens to corrupt the video and mess it up before I can get it posted. Ooh, down, down, down. Here we go. All right. All right now, fellas. Oh, it's very floppy. You ever have a floppy washer? That's your problem. This washer can't do the shimmy. Gotta be other ways. Better ways to make money, but this is the best way for me. It's well, one of them. And this is just one of the ways. I gotta haul stuff to the scrapyard all the time anyway. There's all mowers and stuff, just better junk. So, all right, so I'm jacking this thing up again. It might be story time again. Let me think of for a second while I'm talking. Story. Oh, so back when I was driving, so that probably took my vision to keep me alive, honestly. Because back when I was driving, I used to drive drag race car and I used to drive all my street cars like they were race cars. And I had a Toyota Celica. Yeah, it's coming apart, ain't it? I had a Toyota Celica that it wasn't fast, but it was really good in the corners. And I like, I like going fast in the corners. Um, so anyway, I was on this curvy back road. And uh, I was probably doing, this 30 mile an hour road, I was probably doing about 80. And uh, lost it. And ran off the road a little bit. And it ripped all the rear suspension out of the back right corner. The car came back up on the road, went up on two wheels. I look over and I see a double yellow line right at my face. I could have reached out the window and touched the pavement. It was so high on the wheels. So I, you know, <laughs> scream a little. Slam on the brakes. Well, that makes the car slam back down. And, um, 
the back right suspension is completely wiped out so when it came back down now that wheel is pointed out towards the ditch and that spun me around and my idiot self was doing about 80 and uh, I slammed into two telephone poles so hard it made the tail lights of the car point at each other uh, didn't I didn't get hurt too bad I did have to get some staples in my head and things like that because it's a dumb move on my part um, the radio come flying out of the dash and hit me in the face it knocked the hood out of alignment I hit those I hit that so hard it knocked the hood out of alignment um, then uh, see, we're about there so then um, the car was still running, but it had, it hit so hard it stretched the exhaust a foot longer than it was supposed to be. Um, and the tail lights were pointing so perfectly at each other you couldn't even see them on the car no more. The license plate you could completely read, and um, it I bent the driver's seat so bad that it looked like you had it in constant recline mode gangster lean and uh when the car was needless to say it totaled the car got 13 staples in my head i thought i was dying because when i i hit my head on the sunroof i was buckled but i was going backwards and the seat belts ain't made to work that way and uh knocked my sinuses loose uh, so to that i mean everything that was in my face was coming out of my face uh, but uh, that's another little story. So right now I'm going to wrestle this thing over to the other side. And we're going to do a lot more pausing because if you don't like my stories, you're going to get really irritated. I'm back in action here. Yeah, I didn't want to move it all the way up. It's just too much work. Uh, this is the only time I'm going to do this do a video of this thing working like this because that's a lot of work. And I feel like I'm about to get hit in the face by a washer, so I'm going to move back behind the camera. So if it comes flying at y'all, y'all just jump out the way. Um, it looks terrible but most of them do it needs to turn around Smash my finger. Smash that thumb. Is it bleeding? No? Okay, good. Alright, so. I'm holding the weight or is it sitting there? I'm, I don't know. Now the fun part. I'm gonna clamp my blind butt up here on this dang load and hope that what I'm standing on don't slide out from under me. Yep. Y'all, the dang door of the washer has shut on the chain. That didn't hold. Yeah. Okay, mate. It's like redneck rock climbing. Dude, I can't get that to turn or nothing. Well, more than likely it ain't gonna come unchained from the hook, from the hook. It's all
screws just come unchained from the hook. <laughs> Yay! Okay. Maybe I can do this. I don't know if y'all can hear it, but the chain fell off of that agitator. Made a nice little tingling and ding ding noise. Fell all the way down in the deck gum drum, I think. And now, this is kind of like Humpty Dumpty situation. Oh, yeah. There's nothing hooked up now. It's sitting here under its own wheel. This is what the inside of a dryer or the washing machine looks like. It's it's up there, but the guts are wanting to follow that down to the ground. Again, so uh, that sucks. Okay, what all is attaching it still? We got some wires. And that's a little sketchy. So, Leatherman tool is coming out. And that blade right there is, I think that's a fish scaler. Oh, it works great as a wire harness cutter. It's not the saw blade. The saw blade don't work for crap on cutting harness. And apparently really good on plastic hose. Probably plastic in here. There's the rest of it. Now what am I going to do? I think I'm going to break out the gloves for this part. Because I didn't get cut, but there's a lot of sharp edges that I felt. And I don't want to feel no more. But I don't know if y'all know, but putting gloves on for me is like putting sunglasses on. Or something. It's made, it it kind of dulls my my eyes here. It's a beauty. It's just, uh, I think that's about all I'm gonna be able to do with this stuff. Um, my obesity is kicking in, and uh, but yeah, that just looks professional, don't it? Just professional. Put it in the comments below what you think the what load will weigh. I'll try to keep track of it and post it in there or on the description later. I'm going to guess because I loaded every piece. Uh, 2200. Let's see how close I am. But uh, yeah, this there's a few mowers and stuff in there. They got to go. Got to go to the scrapyard. And 
I'm going to do something interesting with these. Uh, believe it or not, those are probably that one and the other one that the kids were playing with is probably going to be uh, integrated into a burnout video. I was going to run over those with the K5, but they've had it. Uh, I don't think it would be very entertaining because they're already pretty well squashed. Uh, maybe when I get some more, I'll I'll get I'll get uh, I'll get the K5 out and do some more destruction. Well, guys, I say like, share, subscribe. Sharing the video to all the other social media platforms is the best way to advertise the channel for me um and comments i love comments i like reading what everybody's saying and and all that and even when you're being a jerk i, I don't care but uh do a little bit of everything bye